University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics is an amazing place, a place where the best qualities of people come together to heal patients, comfort families, and help make the future of healthcare brighter for everyone. It's a place where gifted doctors and nurses and other medical professionals focus on solving medical problems large and small for people of all ages, from the tiniest baby born too soon to men and women in the twilight of their lives. I have served as a staff member here uh, since 1981. In 1992, um, I went through a heart attack and then later, six months after that, had a heart transplant. So I've also seen this institution from the inside out. And having been a patient, I think, has made me even more want to volunteer for this organization because I realize what a wonderful place it is. We had the opportunity to transfer from another country uh, to Iowa and I thought it would be a good idea to get involved with my community. The work that's done at Iowa Hospitals and Clinics is just amazing. University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics is a very busy place where thousands of people work around the clock every day doing so many different types of jobs. As a volunteer, you'll be part of this active team, bringing your own skills and talents to the organization. I decided to become a volunteer because I had been a longtime employee here. I've seen the importance of the program and how it contributes to patient care and to the well-being of staff, patients and visitors. It's wonderful to be able to be assistive to those who are here at a sort of vulnerable time in their life. I volunteer in the day of surgery lounge. I answer the telephone when families check in. I orientate them to the area. I escort families to the recovery room, surgery intensive care, a second stage recovery. My favorite thing about volunteering in the day of surgery lounge is meeting people. My wife and I both volunteer here it's the same group that comes in every Friday. We're quite a little family. What we do in the volunteer office are kind of routine, whether it's stuffing envelopes or delivering a chart from one place to another, uh, making the delivery from the gift shop. The mission of volunteer services is twofold, to provide service and to provide funding that benefits patients and families. You have nearly 100 positions to choose from in areas throughout the hospital. But regardless of which job you choose, you will definitely have the opportunity to make a difference in the lives of our patients and families. Well, the favorite job that I've had here is the one I have now, and that's working as a wayfinder at the information desk in the main lobby. We'll see people who are ill and frightened. They're under a lot of stress. They don't know where they need to go. And they need someone who just uh, take a minute and, uh, and smooth it out for them. Other important members of volunteer services are our college students who work year-round and our high school students who make up the junior volunteers during the summer. These young adults learn about health care careers as they gain hands-on experience in patient care areas. I've been here since 1980. I think I've been working with volunteers ever since I started. We have volunteers in a lot of different job assignments. We have them working with the child life specialists to help facilitate group activities and transport children to and from their rooms to the playrooms. We have the pediatric volunteers or the cuddlers um, that work with children individually in their rooms. You know, just try to fill those gaps when parents can't be here. As a staff person, the first contact I had with the volunteers was when we were just beginning to initiate the Touching Hearts program. It's a program that assists families who are losing a baby. We have volunteers who actually never come physically to the hospital who are making uh, bereavement clothing. It is just the best for the families. They are overwhelmed by the generosity of these volunteers. They have something concrete that they can take home and remember that baby by. These are some of the most precious memories for these families. The efforts of our volunteers bring much needed funding to so many departments and projects throughout the hospital that directly support patients and their families. Where else can you work at a jewelry sale where the proceeds help purchase wheelchairs or baby blankets? 
In what other store can your contribution provide scholarships to students or give books to hospitalized children at no charge? I like to say that volunteers run the patient's library. They do every possible job there is to do in the library, from running the circulation desk to purchasing new materials for the library. I also have to acknowledge that the patient's library wouldn't be able to continue the level of services that it does right now without funding from volunteer services. When you move to a community and you're older, it's harder to make friends or to get acquainted, and this has made it much easier. I work in the gift shop and I'm the receptionist in the beauty salon, and that's been a lot of fun too. And I think I'm also one of the gift shop's best customers. I've met many, many people that I now consider friends, some exceptionally good friends. The money that is made in the gift shop goes back to the volunteer program, and that money then is recycled back to the hospital in areas where they need it. It makes you feel really good because it all is going back. Some people worry that a hospital might be an unhappy place to work, but if you listen to our volunteers, you'll hear a different story. You'll meet people who wrap themselves up in hope and optimism as if it were a warm blanket. As a volunteer, you'll interact with grateful patients and <laughs> maybe even a clown or two. I am a nursing unit clerk on the burn trauma unit and I am the volunteer coordinator. They have fun because they're coming in and making a difference in not only the life of a patient, their family, but the staff as well as themselves. Some of my patients are there for long periods of time and they haven't seen the outside of the unit. So the library opens at one, so take them to the library, take them to the museum. During the summertime, take them out on the, the deck or the patio. If I have a patient that I know needs someone to sit with, someone to watch their soap operas with them, someone to read the newspaper with them, that's what the volunteers do. People are so appreciative that you're bringing something to them. I guess just the warmth, the, the people, you know, they're from all over the state all levels of income or lack of, in all nationalities, and if you look them in, in the eye and give them a smile, the warmth comes back. You know, it's not a depressing environment, but it's a fulfilling environment, and you really feel like you're doing something to help people. At University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics, our volunteers get back more than they give. We get together for special trips and social events several times a year. The volunteers are a great group of people. Wherever help is needed, our volunteers are there providing everything from clerical work to companionship. They are generous, inspiring, and talented. I would tell a person who would like to volunteer, seriously consider it. You get so much out of it, much more than you put back into it. It's been more than I expected. Um, it's been fantastic. What has made my experience here uh, so pleasant is the people. And I'm talking about everybody from the custodial staff to the CEO to all of the people that I work with on a, on a daily basis. The value to me of coming down here is just giving back to the community, giving, giving something back to somebody, to a stranger, a total stranger. You go home at night and you're very thankful. To be a volunteer is really special to me because it's another way to just kind of say thank you to the University of Iowa for giving me um, the life that I've had, um, and I appreciate it. Volunteering is a, is a marvelous way to spend time, and uh, while they don't give you any dollars, you sure get paid well for what you do. I'm honored to be a part of it, the staff, uh, other volunteers. It's just, just good people. It's good people to be around and very personally uh, enriching to me. And uh, I'll, I'll stay as long as they'll have me.